YouTube this is the velvet locks with another hair tutorial today I want to set my hair and I'm gonna try lock knots now I've never done lock knots on my hair the way I've seen everyone else do I started off doing them like China bumps which is you just twirl the hair around until it gets to a bump somehow but uh, that was the wrong way of doing it so today I'm gonna to attempt to do it the correct way so, my hair is dry right now, but I do want to set it, so I'm going to have to wet it first. So I'm going to spray it. Spray it with some rose water. And I guess I'm going to do one, like in the front, I'll probably do like one at a time. Because I want a nice full head of nice bouncy curls. And I know this is going to be a short do because uh, in the front my hair is very short because it's all cut in layers. But I'm going to start off like how I see it's being done. You make a loop and then you just wrap the rest of the hair all the way going down. And then when you get to the bottom, that little loop that you made you're going to push the ends through there to secure it. Okay, now my hair is very short in the front, so it's not going to be looking all that cutesy I see when I finish. So, let me try another one. Again, I'm going to loop it. I'm going to probably measure it the same, about the same length as that. I guess it's all going to be stubby somehow. And now I'm going to wrap. the rest of the hair going down the lock and then the end I'm sticking it through the lock like so okay now let me do another one I'll probably do this one okay so I'm gonna measure so it's all about the same and then I'm gonna take the rest and wrap it oops I think I got that one caught up with another one right, let me start over I'm gonna loop it and then I'm gonna wrap it as tight to the base going all the way down the lock and at the end right here I'm gonna stick that inside the loop And that's it so I'm gonna finish all of my hair and I'll come to you towards the end so you can see the finishing um, results and I'll probably keep this in for a week cuz uh, I want it to really be nice but stay tuned for that I'm back I'm almost finished I just got three locks left to do and I'm gonna combine these because they're kind of they're small they're very thin so these three I'm going to do together into one lock knot and what I've been doing just for an extra hold being that I want my curls to be nice and tight and to last long I've been using curls um, styling gel okay so I'm just running it down the shaft of the the lock and then I'm just going to make my loop to the size that all of them are <clears throat> let me matter of fact let me show you very closely all right, there it is. I'm going to make a loop, if you can see. And then I'm going to take the end part and just wrap it all the way going down the lock. And I'm going to do it as tight as possible. But being that my locks are not all the same, same length, so there's going to be some shorter than the others. And what I found was normally, like for the rest of them, I haven't been putting in my my um, rubber bands but I realized that yeah since I'm gonna have them in for quite some time it's probably best that I do put the rubber bands on the end just to secure the lock and there's a few of them that I think I may want to do that on like this one all right and that's the final look now this is the first time I'm actually doing lock knots this way, but 
We'll see. Wow. I feel like I have no hair on my head, but it feels, it looks good. So let me just do a 360. Not exactly a 360. Okay. So hopefully this was easy. Um, like I said, I used the curls styling uh, gel. And then I used some brown rubber bands for the ends. And that was it. And some water. My trusty water. So thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the takedown. I'll probably have this in for a week. But stay tuned for the takedown.